Hello, what's up YouTube? Photographer Ronnie Sweet and I try and this tutorial I'm going to show you how I do color grading and skin retouching from the very start to the very end. So usually the very first thing I tend to do is first of all get my colors up to around 80%, right? And I color grade and get the colors up to around 80%. And before I can proceed, the images we're going to be using today was were taken rather by Mutema Creations and he is a fellow YouTuber. I'm going to link him in the description of this video so that you guys can check him out and maybe you can subscribe because he creates the same content and he usually uploads behind the scenes of how he shoots these amazing images. You can see he gave me these images to work on or educate. So I chose this image for this very tutorial. So right now we are in Capture One and I want to show you how first of all I color grade in Capture One and make the image pop and stand out. And also how I'm going to be able to correct this yellowness from the skin tones. You can see we have inconsistencies regarding skin color in this very image. So just want to balance that and eliminate or even balance the skin color of this very model. You can see the images are well lit and perfectly shot. But we just want to do slight corrections in caption and even out the skin color. So that we can proceed in Photoshop to do a skin retouching. So this is going to be a complete awful tutorial. And if at all you feel like you don't have enough time at your hands, you can wait and save it to watch this later on. So without further ado, let's just get started. I'm using Capture 121 for those that always ask me the software I use. I use Capture 121. So in Capture 1, this is the interface. And usually if at all you want to follow along and you want to have the same interface like I do, you can simply come to window, then you come to workspace and come to migration and you'll have your workspace or your caption looking like mine. And if at all you're missing any tool as you're proceeding with this tutorial, you can come and simply right click right here. Right click anywhere on this right hand side and come to add tool and you can add whichever option you're missing in capture one. So the very first thing I tend to do when it comes to Capture One is correcting the lighting issues. So usually I want to first of all get back the highlights. So I take that down and I also do the same for my waist just like that. And since this is a perfectly lit image, I'm not going to tamper with the shadows. I'm just going to come to contrast and add a tiny bit of contrast. But I usually don't add so much because I come to my levels and I simply pull and add in my blacks just like that and that adds or it makes the image richer in contrast so this is all for the basic lighting corrections in the image so next thing i tend to do is creating a layer on which i'm going to be color grading the image so usually i come right above here like in photoshop capture one also has layers so just come right click on this new layer icon and come and create a new field layer so when you create that new field adjustment layer, if at all you go overboard with the color grading process, you can come and simply reduce the opacity of the color grading depending on what you prefer. So we are done creating this layer. So just going to come straight down to where it says color editor. And under color editor, we have basic, advanced, and mid uh, skin tone rather. So we are going to go straight to skin tone. And when you select skin tone, you're going to get this wheel right here in your capture one and you can see we have this eyedropper tool so simply left click to get the eyedropper tool and you can now zoom into the image and you look for a reference point for your skin or your subject you can see we have these yellows and we just want to get rid of them but not changing completely the skin color of this model right here so what i'm going to do basically i'm just going to come right here I'm just going to sample an area. I feel like the skin should like look like this area. And as soon as I click using the color picker tool or this eyedropper tool and selecting this point, it really gives me the range in which those colors are falling. So I'm just going to zoom out by using Ctrl Command minus. So let me show you the easier way to look at the colors that you have sampled. So just come to this option which says view selected color range. And as soon as you click on this box, it automatically turns the rest of the colors in the image into or it disaturates the rest of the colors and you can see the selected colors are going to be 
are in the colored version or in their original form. So if at all you want to eliminate a given color, you leave this option turned on. And you can see this pie area is the range in which the colors we have just sampled in this very image. So if at all you don't want to change the top of the model as your color grading, you can come to this option and simply left click and drag it out of uh, the pinks just like that. And that looks okay. So you can see it has just desaturated the pink color because we have taken the range out of the pink color that the model was putting on. So you can come back down here and turn off the view selected color range option. And right now, the next thing we're going to do, we're just going to come to where it says uniformity. Remember, we have sampled the color. We sampled a color that was closed right here. So we just want the rest of the skin to be uniform. So we're just going to click on the hue slider and simply take it up. And as we're taking it up, I just want you to look at the image. Just going to zoom in slightly. Just look at the yellows, the way the yellows are getting lost from the image. Just look at a quick before and after for the yellows. Just look at that. And this is what we have before and after. So I'm just going to turn that off. And I'm going to come to the saturation. And I'm going to take the saturation high or a little bit up. And that looks okay because it has now taken out most of the yellows. And when you feel like you still have so much yellows in the image let me first of all turn on the before and after so this was the before and this is the after before after you can see you have just gotten rid of the yellows so by turning off the before and after slider i'm just going to simply take the uniformity slider slightly higher and taking up my saturation and that is going to eliminate the yellows from the skin tones of the model but as we are doing this it makes the image look a little bit warm so you can see that we have amount right here. So under amount, when you come right here and you take the hues towards the left hand side, you're going to be adding more magentas within the image. You can see the image has gotten magentas and taking it towards the right hand side, you're going to be getting more greens, which is the opposite of magenta in your image. So that is how you can either reduce the effect of the greens or the magentas, if at all, you have color graded and you feel like that color is too much so that is how you can deal with it so after coming to the color edit after dealing with it i'm just going to come down here to where it says color balance under color balance you can even add a given color to either the midtones the highlights and the shadows so for example i feel like i want to cool down the shadow areas because the image is a little bit too warm for my liking I'm just going to come to the shadow area and click right in the middle. I'm just going to add this kind of cyan kind of bluish feel to the shadows. And that is going to cool down the image. Just look at how the image is now popping and standing out from the overall background. So I'm just going to come to also the midtones and I'm going to add some kind of oranges to compensate because I don't want the image to be too warm or too cold so I just want it to be in the middle so i'm just going to add a slight bit of oranges within the skin tones of the model and just look at how the image is popping and i'll keep on taking you towards the before and after that's the before and this is what we have right now it is not going overboard but we are simply getting the image to look like what we want or color grading it to our liking so i feel like we have desaturated this top of the model so we're just going to come back up to our color editor tool and simply click on the basic and this like in lightroom we have the basic advanced and skin tone so i'm going to simply come to where it says uh first of all the pink right here or the magentas or you can as well get the color picker tool and simply click so when you click using a color picker tool and you drag up that is going to be changing the color or the targeted color you can see as soon as i get the color picker tool and i play around with it you can see it is going to be changing the hue so taking this towards the right hand side it is going to be hewing that color and changing it and the saturation levels are usually determined by when you click or when you get the color picker tool and you either drag it up or down so 
up and down is going to be playing with the saturation and moving it towards uh, the left and right is going to play around with the hues in the image. So I'm just going to reset that. So basically I just want to play around with the pinks right here. So I'm just going to come and simply click this and I'm just going to add a little bit more of the saturation to the top of the model and I could come to the reds and simply just add a tiny bit and that looks fine. Then I feel like I want to play around with the colors in the background and since I feel like I have this color so with the color picker tool I'm just going to click in the background area and with that is going to sample the color that is going to be affected so in this case you can see it has automatically sampled for me the yellow color so by simply coming to my yellows under the basic panel I'm just going to play around with the values right here I'm just going to take the yellows towards the green because I want the image to pop out of the background just like that and I could take up the saturation a little bit higher. So basically, we have now color graded and made the image pop. I feel like this is a little bit too much. So I'm just going to take the hues towards the green and simply desaturate that color. So that the image can pop out of the background. So basically, we are now done color grading the image. And when you feel like the effect is a little bit intense or too much for your liking, you can come and simply come the opacity and select the color grading layer and simply reduce on that effect of your color grading process on the image. So we are done color grading the image. So the next thing is going to be exporting the image so that we can do skin retouching on it. So in order to do this, we are just going to simply come and get this tool and simply right click on the image we want to edit in Photoshop. So as soon as you right click on the image, just come to edit with and come to Photoshop 2020 and it's going to open up a new Photoshop window. So for the format I prefer TIFF and I prefer to edit in 16-bit. Options I prefer uncompressed and axis profile at 98. The resolution is 300 pixels per inch and the scale is fixed at 100%. So I'm just going to come and simply click on edit variants. In order to take the image into Photoshop to do the final touch-ups or the final skin retouching process on it. 